Hello everyone, welcome back again with the blockchain section. So this is the most important section in the course we can say because in this section we will be dealing with creation of the blockchain network from the scratch. Again, uh, we need to know the network topology before that. What kind of network we are going to create? So on the screen you can see we have two organizations. Those are the peer organization and in actual network as well we will be considering two organizations and one order organization. So, so these two organizations have only one peer. Peer is nothing but which is representing the organization and each organization will have own, their own certificate authority. So in this way, there are two peer organizations. Each will have a certificate authority and one order organization. It will have three ordering services and that is also we are using a raft and one certificate authority. So this is the overall network topology we will be creating for our blockchain network. And uh, on the screen, we can see there are some logical segregations I have done. Like this is just kind of, we can say flow diagram for the blockchain, like how the data is going to add it and who is going to do what. Uh, each organization, we have segregated the user into different sections, financial department users and the legal department user. Uh, on the other organization also, we have the same segregation, financial and the legal. When someone from the one organization create the agreement, other user from the same organization and the other organization can just add some kind of actions on the same agreement. Agreement is nothing but just a document which we will be adding into the blockchain. So the document or the agreement will have some sort of fields like who is creator, what is the first party, what is the second party and uh, actual document, how, what are the different terms and condition within that. So this all the information we will add in terms of the agreement. And one more thing, there, there is additional approvals object we are going to add along with this agreement. So we can see kind of CRUD operations we are going to do it from the front end through the API to the blockchain network. Again, invoking the transactions we can do from, from the two sections. First one is the command line and second one is the API. So we will be doing both of them because while creating the network, we have to validate whether the network got created correctly or not. That's why we will be invoking some of the transactions through the terminal itself. But before that, uh, there are some sort of steps we need to consider to create the network. So what are these, those steps? Just let me share my screen one more thing. Yeah, we can see here for any kind of network creation, we require certificate authority. So this is the permission plus private network. So that's why we require someone to issue the certificate and each organization have their own certificate authority because they don't trust on each other, right? So that's why they will maintaining their own certificate authority and that would be one of the service. Once we create the certificate authority for all the organizations, we need to create a crypto material. Crypto material, what is it? Uh, it's a public key, private key and the certificate for all the participants within, within the organization. So what is the organization structure? So organization can have a number of peers which actually hold the ledger and the smart contract. So organization also can have one certificate authority. Organization also can have uh, users it could be a different kind of user, admin user or normal user. So these are the participants within the organization. So for them to interact with the network, we need the identities, right? That's why we will have first one certificate authority and using those certificate authority, we will be creating the certificate for the participant. Okay. Once we have that, these different organization comes together. So they decide some kind of policy, some sort of terms and condition and they create the network because they are going to do the transactions between each other and this is the decentralized and distributed system. That's why they don't trust on each other. So they will come and will decide, mutually decide some kind of agreement like who can do what, who can do, uh, who can create the contract, who can read the contract, these kind of policies they can do. And there are some additional administrative policies we will uh, go through it when we are talking about those some specific files but yeah those policies they embed into the one kind of block so that is nothing but the channel artifacts the channel artifacts is having different kind of policies within the form of block once we have that artifact that is nothing but the artifact 
we will create all the services to create the network. So what are those services? We require peer, we require cows DB, we require encode containers, we, uh, we, we require orderers. So these are the different services we have to create. So for that purpose, next step would be creating all the services. Those are nothing but creation of the Docker containers. I will let you know when we are talking about the Docker Compose file for the services. Once all the services up and running and the crypto materials material is also there using the artifacts we can create the channel so once we have this channel i mean they wanted to communicate with each other and that's why they need some kind of medium right to communication so so that purpose they will create some kind of channel between them once they have the medium as a channel then they can deploy their business logic in the form of smart contract that is the next step deployment of the smart contract sometimes we call the chain code smart contract business logic those are all the same thing so this deployment once it is done and finally we can invoke the transactions as per the policy defined in the blocks and that's it we are end of the blockchain creation network so in this way we have to follow all the steps to create a blockchain network so there are two organizations and one uh, order organization so, totally three organizations and each organization will have some services okay so let's talk about the peer organization peer organization will have one certified authority uh, peer organization will have one peer right now uh, for the implementation purpose we are considering only one peer this or peer organization again will have a chain code container because inside the, each peer is the endorsing peer and that's why they need to hold the chain code for endorsing the transactions uh, so what is the endorsements and all i will let you know when we talk about the transaction flow okay another one thing uh, we are storing their current state database in the form of cows db so that's why we require one more service that is the cows db okay uh, these all the services required for the peer organization but for the order organization we require one certified authority and there are three orderers so for fault tolerance uh, specifically crash tolerance we can say there are three orders even though one of the order goes down majority of three is two that's why uh, our network will be up and running until unless there are two orders but in case if you wanted to make a more highly available we can have odd number of orders like five seven nine eleven something and until unless we have a majority of the order uh, let's consider uh, we have nine orders and even though four order goes down then also our network will be up and running in that way it, that uh, crash tolerance is getting managed like uh, even though absence of some of the nodes still our network will be up and running and uh, will execute the transaction successfully that's it for this video in the next video we will be going through each and every files and uh, executing these steps one by one creation of the certificate authority crypto material artifacts running all the services channel creation and deployment of the chain code and finally uh, invoking the transactions